This video will demonstrate how to import a DXF into an Allegro board file. You can import the DXF in a new board or an existing board. You confirm the inputs you receive with the mechanical engineer before importing. You need to know the input units of the DXF shared, so that you can set your board accuracy. The input unit of the DXF I am going to import is in mils. You can set the accuracy, by navigating to Setup Design Parameters Accuracy by using the up or down arrows. Right now, I had set it to the max value of 4. I select Apply and click OK. Now if you open the DXF in command by navigating to File Import DXF. The DXF in dialog box will pop up. You can set the units as mils and accuracy as defined by board accuracy. From the dotted browse through button you can choose the input DXF file that has to be loaded. I select the mechanical underscore input dot DXF file from the available DXF. You can select the use default text table option, incremental addition option to match the text in the input DXF with the default text table and to import the mechanical input as an add-on to the existing board file respectively or else the DXF in command overwrites the content of the current database and load the DXF input in the existing board file. If you are using the incremental addition option, the DXF you are importing is having accuracy more than the database. The tool will ask you whether is it okay to truncate the input data accuracy as per design units. When you load the DXF file, the field corresponding to the DXF conversion file would have been populated with the name mechanical underscore input underscore a.cnv. You can give a new name or load a default layer conversion file you are using by either dotted button, browse through and select the conversion file or choose a conversion file from the library. You can set this path for the conversion file by setting path from user preferences paths library miscellaneous paths, Add your path to the miscellaneous paths folder. Here existing layer conversion file is not used. You will see how you can create a layer conversion file using edit or view layers option. The DXF in edit slash view layers dialog box will pop up. You can validate the input data before loading it into the board file by selecting the DXF layer. You can use the DXF layer filter option to filter DXF layers if you have many input DXF layers present. I don't have multiple input DXF layers. I select the DXF layer 0 and choose to view selected layers. This option will load the DXF data into the PCB editor window temporarily in the class board geometry by deleting its contents temporarily. This will help you to understand you got an importable DXF or not. If you haven't received a proper DXF you can request the mechanical engineer to share an updated one. You need to use supportable class and subclass for importing the DXF. If you try to use the class as board geometry and subclass as design underscore outline. The design outline subclass doesn't allow line segment, it will expect a shape object, so in the board you can set up the class as board geometry and subclass as outline. You can select the class and subclass for the DXF layer, or you can create a new subclass using the new subclass option and define the subclass name, or you can use the DXF layer name as subclass name by selecting use DXF layer as subclass name. I select the class as board geometry and subclass as outline and map to the respective input DXF layers using the map button and if I select OK. The layer conversion file gets created. After setting this layer conversion file, the import button loads the DXF data into the board file. That concludes the demo on how to import the DXF received into an Allegro board file.